Um, this is my little tank with, um, I think this was my last lot of baby guppies. Um, I'm gradually retiring this tank, it's a bit small and um, I am going to keep it in the garage perhaps to keep a few of my assassin snails in. I seem to, I started with one now I have five. One thing I did learn today is that bleach does not kill assassin snails. Um, I did use bleach to clean this little ornament there and he was inside and he is fine. I don't know if he'll die at a later date but he's certainly wandering about the tank okay now. So yeah this tank is done quite well but it's just a little cheap plastic tank I've had it three years plus uh, for my um, Siamese fighting fish um, it's just looking a bit dull it's got the lights um, gone in it so I had to buy a little strip light it just doesn't give good light you can see it's kind of dull so um, yeah so hopefully I can put these um, guppies in either the female tank or the male tank over the next few weeks. I can see a few males in there. And then I can put this one out in the garage and um, well either grow some live food or grow my assassin snails in there. I do like them. There's the other twos over here, and I put two in another tank. I don't know if you can see them. No, they're just the same colour as the gravel. Um, so that's that tank. Um, I'm in the middle of water changes in here. Um, I'm not sure, I haven't lost any. Um, the fish I put in here, um, that's one. She's up and about and fine. Um, a bit old, but she looks fine. Uh, let's see who else is in here. Oh, the big black female that was not doing too well. She's up and about, there she is, she's fine. Um, I still have fish in here that still have those kind of lumps, but um, I still don't know what it is. I've treated it for everything, everything I can think of, so um, not a lot I can do about it. See, I've got some babies. Some of the babies have survived, not many. They do seem to eat the little ones. Um, I've got a few that are a few months old in here. They seem to be doing quite well. But most of these fish are quite old. They don't look it because I've been growing smaller and smaller guppies. I've been trying to get them so that I can put more in the tank, not overstock it because they are quite small fish and um, so all these little tiny female guppies that are here, they're not that big, they're all back two. These were my original, the big black one was one of my originals, you can tell the size of those up to what I'm breeding now which are quite small. Um, this leads me into my new um, male. Ooh. I. Uh, Went to the pet shop to get some snails. I lost my big yellow male, um, my big yellow snail. He died. Oh, can't see this way. I have to turn the light off. Sorry, making everybody giddy and dizzy. But, um, there we go. I'm in the middle of doing a water change in here too. Um, so I went to the pet shop yesterday and I got myself 
another little male endler. I don't think you'd better see him very well because he is very small. And I'm leaving him in here with any of these females. Um, these are extremely small females. Some of them are about four months old now and they don't look it. They're very tiny. Um, but the male, he was in the tank to be our uh, food and he was way too pretty so the guy just gave him to me he's in the back of course and he's getting quite excited because there's some females I don't know if you can see him but he's darting about in here and now he'll have a really nice life he'll stay in here for a while and then he'll go in with my male guppies um, this tank's been doing quite well actually. It's a bit hot in here, my AC died again and uh, waiting for it to cool back down. So there's quite a lot of little fish in here but it doesn't ever feel crowded because the fish are so tiny. So I really hope this male um, might give me some really small females and males. So I can carry on getting my guppies to half the size at least of what they originally were. <laughs> 